What's up, my friends? What's up? Y'all hanging out, chilling with witch me? Witch? That's a word. That's what people say. That's what people say. You knew that. You guys knew that. You guys are smart. You knew that was a thing. What's up? You like my dog helmet? Now live on my channel. No way. Thanks, YouTube. Did it just end? We should be good. What's up? How's it going, everybody? Man, it is blurrier than normal tonight. It is what it is. What it do? It looks a lot better on my screen than it does on my TV. Maybe it'll catch up. I did a couple things to try to, like, mitigate this stupid freaking buffering issue. I uh, lowered the bitrate, which is supposed to help. But I also, just for you guys, this is how much I love you. I ran, I hardwired in this laptop. I ran a cable from my router around the room, up over the door, back down into this computer. Which is why we're up here and not downstairs, because I can't plug in downstairs. But I can up here. And that should, theoretically, eliminate the buffer buffering issue. If it doesn't, then something's wrong with my router and I'm going to smash it in the face. So, it is cooler in the, in the garage. Not uncomfortable, or not unbearably so, but I'm here because... I want it to not buffer, and I want the stream to be fun and and enjoyable seamlessly without you guys having to worry about not being able to watch it. So frustrating. And we did that stream when I unboxed my stuff on my phone, and rewatching it was so bad. So I really wanted to get something plugged in so you could see it. Smash router on wheel. Um, yeah, I, right. I usually just leave the door open for a while so it's from the house, and it heats it up. Speaking of the wheel, thank you for saying that, Beards. I don't think we're going to spin it tonight. I've got too many giveaways to do, to keep track of, so I don't think I'm going to spin the wheel tonight, but that just makes you want it more ugh, next month when it comes back. But I'm going to do 10 giveaways tonight. Bot's going to be working overtime, so we are going to do that and, uh, and probably not spin the wheel. That's not to say you can't, like, do a super chat if you want to. I'm just not going to spin the wheel if you do. McLovin's going to help me keep track of the giveaways, which is good because there's a lot of them. So everybody say thank you to McLovin because the more of this I drink, the less of this I think. And um, so I want to make sure I keep track and get all the stuff to the winners. Do you guys want to see what you can win tonight? Do you want to know what we're giving away? Yeah, all, you, sh you should all be sipping along with me. That's part of the joy, by the way. Look, got me a little whiskey and cola here. What are y'all drinking? Dude, Dumper Squid Joust is rad. Love, love Joust. Love it. Got some new faces. Awesome. Larry, how are you? Ed, thanks you, McLovin. Got some red wine. Not drinking at work? I mean, okay, I guess. Hey, you're getting a new bite, a new DRZ. Awesome. Next week, even better. See, that's an upgrade. I mean, they're exactly the same, but newer. Coors Light, G&J, Four Rows of Single Barrel. That's a good one. SoCo, Miller, yeah. Keep it low-key. I wonder if, is it this shitty quality or is it just what my TV is set on? Let's look. Doesn't give me the opportunity to change it, so okay then. I'm all the way live. All right, let's quit hitting the button. You're gonna screw it up. See, Han, Han Sozu just said it. Remember, one of my things is the second you get a DRZ, everyone tells you you have to jet it and do the three by three. It just happened. I wasn't making it up. I'm not crazy in that video. It's legit. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna set a timer so like we can do giveaways in a timely fashion. So I don't forget. Should we just start with one and then I'll set the timer? What do you think? You guys think we should do a give? No, let me show you what you can win first. All right, here's what we're giving away tonight. Like I said, I'm going to do 10, 10 giveaways. Um, and several of them are going to be the same. Several of them are going to be sticker packs. But this is, and this is enormous. Can you see how big this is? It's huge. I tried to put it on my locker and it was like, Huge. So this is a Moto Camp Nerd sticker, and this is reflective vinyl. I don't know if you can tell, 
So not only is it fashionable, it's a safety add-on for your motorcycle or one of your panniers, wherever you put it. So safety first, reflective, and this thing is so big it barely fits in an envelope, but it just does. So I'm going to give away 10 of these. Every winner tonight gets a Moto Camp Nerd sticker. Thanks to Moto Camp Nerd, who I don't know, he, he may pop in and out, but um, this whole night, everything I'm giving away tonight, sponsored by Moto Camp Nerd. There's links in the description to check out Moto Camp Nerd's site. So if you like Moto Camping gear, handpicked by a fellow biker uh, at reasonable prices, and if you want to give your money to support a member of the community instead of Amazon or whatever, I would encourage you for your future Moto Camping needs to check out MotoCampNerd.com. Uh, you can use promo code Dork in the Road to save yourself 10% on anything you buy there. And if you use the links in the description, you also support the channel uh, if you buy anything. I get a, I get a little commission. So. Use them, don't use them, doesn't bother me. But definitely use the discount code because I want you to save that money. But they have lots of good stuff. I don't know if you saw the video. If you didn't, check it out. So anyway, Moto Camp Nerd is sponsoring all the giveaways tonight. So I got 10 sticker packs I'll give away. I'll give away my regular sticker. You'll get a Dork in the Road sticker. You'll get spam cards. You'll get um, Moto Camp Nerd sticker. Okay, that's the minimum you can win. But we also have three bigger prizes. One of which is this shirt. Moto Camp Nerd shirt, and this, oh, you can't see it. The back has a Moto Camp Nerd logo on it, too. So you can win yourself Moto Camp Nerd shirt. You can't see it very well. I'll, you'll see it when I get up and make another drink in approximately 12 seconds, because that's how fast I drink. Um, second prize that you can win, in addition, is a set of rock straps like this. So, rock strap is a combination tie down strap and a bungee. And these are great for attaching things to your motorcycle, keeping them tight. Um, they're very versatile, useful straps. So, rock straps. That's another prize you can win tonight. And the grand prize is a $25 gift card to MotocampNerd.com to buy whatever the hell you want. And they sell, they sell tents. They sell sleeping bags. They sell camping gear. They sell, I got a, a twig stove, okay, backpacking stoves, tents, whatever you want. They have it all. So, you can, win, you can use your $25 gift card to buy whatever the hell you want from MotocampNerd.com. So check out the Moto Camp Nerd. And like I said, there are links in the description right now. So if you want to look at the site while you listen to me ramble in the background, you can. Just click that link, buddy. Check it out. It's a good place to be. Um, not this exact one, Jay. I'm going to keep it. Also, bonus, thanks to our friend Ken Pachi, who sent these to me, these very fun DRZ-specific stickers. I mean, they're not any five, any five speed it applies to, but you see... When you, when you ride a DRZ, you understand what this is about. So, um, if you win any prize tonight, I have three of these to give away. When you email me, just tell me if you want the bonus fifth gear sticker. And I will put it in for you, thanks to Kenpachi. I only have three of these. So, there's Kenpachi right there. Everyone thank Kenpachi for kicking these in. Um, if you want one of these stickers and you win, just say that in your email. And I will put them in the packages of the first three people that say they want them. Okay? So bonus prize, but I'm not, if you don't have a five speed, you don't get it. You probably don't want this sticker. So, um, that's why I'm just going to let you tell me if you want this one and I'll, uh, I'll throw it in it for, for the first four who say they want one or three, first three. I put one on my lockers. So you can win these tonight too, with any prize. You just have to tell me you want this. So Kenpachi's the band volunteered to just send me that stuff. I put one on my lockers in honor of my DRZ, but uh, and uh, yeah, my Grom, yeah, I like that, Ed. Same with my Grom when I had it. I would try to shift out of fourth multiple times. Okay, I said all that. We should do a giveaway. You ready, McLevin? Let's do the first sticker pack. First sticker pack. Let's try it. Let's see. This is where we test if the bot is going to be awake tonight or if I'm going to do this whole thing manually and be really frustrated. Okay, I hit the button. Yeah, if we run out and there's a demand, Ken Pachi can, uh, he'll send us some more. It's okay, the bot is working. Exclamation point, enter, to enter the giveaway. So this is for a sticker pack. Here's the other thing while we're throwing out rules tonight. If you win a sticker pack, which is the first seven prizes, I would appreciate it if you just didn't enter until we get to the big prizes again, okay? So don't enter, I don't, because if you win two sticker packs, I'm not going to send you two. I'm going to... Let somebody else win. So if you win a sticker pack, 
Hey, Ronnie, don't enter again until we get to giving away the t-shirt, the gift card, and the rock straps. You can win twice there, but I don't want to send two sticker packs because you're just taking a prize away from someone else. And I want everyone to have a chance to win. So, here we go. Giving away free stuff, exclamation point, enter. My dog is barking at people outside because that's what he does. Man, lots of you entering. This is good. Good turnout tonight. 56 right now, it says. Hey, don't make me smack you live on camera because I will. You guys crushing it right now. You guys are crushing it. All the entering is happening. Man. I miss streaming with you guys. I gotta find a way to sneak in another one. A random one once a month or something. McLevin, what's going on with your streams? You haven't been on, buddy. Keep trying to send you this audience and you're like, nah. Ugh. These silly pints, dude, are so awesome. I love this thing. I know I've said it multiple times, but they make them in Bend. Best thing ever. There's Stacy. She wants to win some stickers. Stacy's going to get them stickers. Does that mean Chad Smith is here too? Okay, well, at least you know and recognize it, McLevin. That's the first step on the road to recovery. Yeah, Moto Ramblings can tell you. I send it out. Like, you get your stickers. Sometimes it takes me a couple days to get them sent, but... Um, you get them, man. And if you don't win what you want tonight, you can also just go to dorkontheroad.com and buy any sticker you want. And Moto Camp Nerd sells his stickers on his website, too. So if you're unlucky, don't do it until you, the evening's over. Because you could win. But if you didn't, then uh, you can just go to the website. That's cool, too. All right, I have 30 entries. 31 entries. I'm going to cut it off in, like, 10 seconds. And we'll figure out who's going to win. And then we'll set the timer and do another one in 10 minutes. And we can just BS for a while. Pretty exciting. Where's my clock timer? I'm going to get that set up. I'm not texting, I promise. This time. I'm not above texting on stream. But that's not what I'm doing. This time. Okay, it's ready. <laughs> oh, you're good, John. You're here. You typed in words and everything. You're doing good. All right. I'm going to cut off entries for the first drawing. And we're going to find out who's winning. Closing entries. And the winner is... Tenny! Tenny 80! How many stickers have I sent you, man? You're a big winner. You win a lot. There you go. All right. I'll set the timer. We'll do it again in 10 minutes. Tenny's going to get himself... See, you can't order Moto Camp Nerd gear in Canada, but you can get a sticker. You're welcome. What am I doing? I need this window. There we go. There we go. All right, we'll do another giveaway in this many. 9.44. Word's good. What's up, Tilly, Dano, Thumper, Polly? Good to see all of you. David, Kirk, Finn, welcome to my office. <sighs> this is, um, actually right now, I'm working from home. I work in this room all day. And then I come back up here and live stream for you at night. So, there you go. Sometimes I play video games right here. Oh, yeah, I was going to actually try to write those down. Okay, McLevin, I'm going to trust you and let you write it down. Because I would rather not be leaned over messing with the computer all night. Chris, I'm so glad you asked. My least favorite thing about this machine behind me is it does not save high scores when you turn it off. So, it's so... Because if it did, I would play it all the time trying to beat my score, right? It doesn't. So, they just it, it's almost pointless to play because... None of the games are on, that are on it can be beaten. They all are endless. So the only point of playing is to get a high score, and it doesn't even save them. It's really annoying. I don't know, Hansu. Hansuzu. What's up, ADV? McLovin's going to write it down. He's doing it manually by writing it on a piece of paper. It's going to be a little while before it wears out. I don't know. Tinger, where am I planning to ride next? Um, eh, you know, I I feel like the next place I ride will be out to my the moto camping spot that I've kind of scouted out because I want to spend a little time there. Um, maybe scouting the firewood situation, maybe clearing out a spot, maybe just preparing it, building a fire pit, stuff like that, um, to get it ready for when it's moto camping time, which is not very far away because I now have a winter bag. 
And then, uh, I don't know. Maybe you'll see a camping video sooner rather than later. I'm pretty inspired and excited about all, all this gear I got. So full full disclosure, Moto Camp Nerd's not only sponsoring the giveaway, but he sponsored that the pack of gear that I bought. Um, or the, that I got. I got it for free in exchange for making content with it. So pretty good deal, if you ask me. Full Moto Camping setup, and I'm going to make videos. I'm excited to give out to Moto Camp again. I wanted to anyway, but man, now I have to, which is great, because I can't talk myself out of it. Mega Dank Nooner Vids. Yeah, Ed, it's always wet around here. This is Lil Evan Williams and Diet Pepsi, but I'm almost out of Evan Williams, so at some point tonight I will be switching over to Mellow Corn because I, it's my least favorite whiskey that I have, so I don't mind using it in drinks. <clears throat> uh, Michael, that's a great question. Uh, unfortunately, no, the bras is no longer here as of like two days ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, McLevin's 15 minutes from here. Chat on the rocks, everybody. Fully recovered. Everyone ask him when he's going to get out and ride his hawk again. Yeah, I maybe sold it to finance another project. Maybe a little bit. He's alive. He's alive. I think. Chewy? See? He's moving. He's moving. <sighs> Motor Rambling's got a shirt. Sweet. What's up, Joseph? I don't know. Should I talk about the project, McLevin, or should I let it be a secret? It's not a given, by the way. It's not a given. It's just a big idea that I'm brewing on. No, I'm not going to make a big deal about the bras being gone. I still feel weird about selling it, but um, because I'm using it to finance another project, I feel a little bit better about it. Biker Dad thought that, you know what? I know everyone's shitting on the new KLR, but I actually like it because it's not expensive, right? You want an entry-level do-it-all machine? You've never had the option to get one with fuel injection before. They didn't raise the price. Now you'll have a fuel-injected, bulletproof, reliable, old-school piece of technology that'll take you from Baja all the way to Alaska. No, it's not fancy. No, it's not nice. But it's also not $10,000. I think... I mean, I wish they'd updated it more. I wish they'd put in a sixth gear, but... For seven grand, brand new, for the bike, the one bike that can do everything you want it to do, I think it's... It, I, I understand why they kept it, because there's nothing else like that. It competes with the DR650, which is old AF, and the XR650L. Thank you, Kirk, for that donation, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, but there's no few. It's the most modern. I'm not saying it's super modern, but it's the most modern mid-size do-it-all machine. I For the price, I like it. I'd ride one. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be, the, it wouldn't be comfortable or, you know, awesome, but there it is. I gotta tell you, carburetor is one of the hardest words to spell. Shut up, Ed. Really? Jealous. Peanut butter and jealous. I want to ride one so bad. <clears throat> oh, for sure, Biker Dad. I'm not at all saying the KLR is not a good trail machine. It's just mediocre at everything but that's the thing it does everything if i was gonna have one bike right now it would be my drz um but a klr would get you to the moon and back and let you handle force roads and some light trail work i would much rather have a drz in the trails for sure you got a new dual sport soils what'd you get yeah garrick i don't know pretty mad about it yeah somebody was saying earlier um the uh Suzuki just announced a new bike, right? I even got a survey as a Suzuki owner. I was like, hell yeah, they're going to ask me about new DRZs. And I get, to, nope, just a new Busa. That's all they announced. They've done nothing with the DRZ for 20 years. I feel like they will continue to do nothing with the DRZ. But it's hella fun as is, in my opinion. Love it. Love it. McLevin saw a KLX 300 today. They had one at, at uh, Power when he went there. 
Yeah, right, beards. If it is if as if a Kayla would break down. Two stroke street legal. Is it an XR? I would love to get an XR street legal XR four hundred. I'd ride the piss out of it. Super rad, super rad. Man, I'm ready to give away some more stuff. I'm glad we have so much stuff to give away. I like doing giveaways a lot. It makes the stream more lively too. It's just good times. 65, that's pretty good, you guys. 65. Winter's better. Oh, that's right. XRs are four strokes. Yeah, that's why I want one. Duh. Thank you for saving me from myself, Tenny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm serious. At this rate, I'm going to be drinking one of these every giveaway. That's going to be a problem. I better slow it down. Or else we'll be incoherent and Chewbacca will be running giveaways by the end of the night. I could put less whiskey in, but that's not really my style. How much highway is on the, is on the Trans-America Trail, Michael? I know there's some, right? That would be the determining factor for me. If it's more than 50% highway, I would... Ugh, I don't know. I might go KLR, but... Oh yeah, Finn. She's she still can't start the DRZ, the 125. She hasn't gotten the kickstart figured out. But when I start it for her, she crushes it. She's really good on it. Oh, don't tempt me, Hemi. I have a little extra money, but that's not what my project's gonna be. Yeah, I want to ride a new KLR. I think I'm only ever ridden kind of an old shitty one, so it would be neat to ride a new fuel injected one. I really wish I could work out a deal with the dealership where I could do test ride videos because I would love. Because people are always asking me about bikes as if I have, and I like to help people, but I don't have access to a lot of bikes, right? People are always like, what about this bike? And I'm like, I've never actually freaking ridden one, so I don't know. Um, the Wish version of Chewy. <laughs> Chewy is a good looking pug. He's obnoxious as hell, but he's good looking. I forgot what the hell I was even talking about. Oh, it would be neat to be able to get test rides in and make videos and, and then actually have some hands-on experience when people ask me about bikes. I just... Have to guess, right? Based on reputation and stuff. Yeah, Chewie is a pretty handsome pug. He's a moron and really annoying most of the time. But he didn't... Like, most pugs his age, because he's like seven, get um, chubby. He's not chubby. He's pretty He's pretty trim for pug. All right, we're going to do another giveaway. You guys cool with that? Does anybody want to do another giveaway? Thanks, Soils. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a giveaway whether you guys want it or not. Screw it. I don't even care. We're going to give away. So, this giveaway. Sticker pack. Model Camp sticker. Model Camp Nerd sticker. Right here. Reflective. Badass. Dork in the Road sticker. And some spam cards and stuff. I would love to, John, when the border opens up. I would really like to ride up to Canada. Several Canada friends have invited me to come check out their area. I'd like to do that someday. That'd be fun. I gotta get out on the on the deer or the AT more. I can't words. Exclamation point enter. Great question, ADV agenda. Love my Revit Sand threes for um for summertime, and I wear them on trails, on the street, everywhere in the summer. And then I'm really digging my Climb Power Cross gloves right now for wintertime. Insulated Gore-Tex leather palm. They're actually snowmobile gloves. They have a squeegee. Uh, uh, goggle squeegee. Boop, boop, boop. That's the noise it makes. So, um, they're good gloves. like them a lot. Actually, I do have a piece of news I could share with you guys that nobody really knows about yet. A couple people in the Discord have kind of heard about it. But, um, I have not mentioned it anywhere. But, big doings. Big doings going on. Um, kind of remarkable when, uh, things happen that make you go, whoa. Maybe this channel's getting somewhere. Um, yeah, Beards, the Power Crosses are $99, which is insanely good deal for a pair of um, insulated Gore-Tex gloves. There's a link, Dano. I made a video about it. Maybe in my Amazon store. I can't remember. 
Oh, there's a link in the description to my... Actually, just go to dorkintheroad.com and my Amazon store links are on there. You should be able to find it there. It's actually funny you're saying that because one of the things I'm talking about would solve that question. Problem. I'm already buzzing. I gotta slow it down. My favorite movie is Army of Darkness. Yeah, sorry, Dano. I do have a link somewhere. I have not updated the gear links below, but... I'm working on something that might make that irrelevant, which would be good. Make it easier to find stuff. Shop smart. Shop S smart. You got that? Love that movie. I have literally a whole page in here of Army of Darkness sounds. A whole folder. See this? This is my boomstick. Can you guys hear that? I never know if I have it set up right or not. You got me, Michael. You got me. You can hear it? Okay. What about this? Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> Klaatu! Marada! <laughs> God, I love that movie. Bruce Campbell lives in Oregon. I've met the guy. Shook his hand. All right. Looks like no one else is entering, so let's draw a winner. Closing entries. Picking winner. Winner is Noah. Noah, Hart Noah Hartzell Jordan. You won. Um, I didn't say this before because Tenny already knew, but to claim your prize, email me at dork at dorkintheroad.com. It's right there in the chat. Um, with your address. Jacksonville, actually, beards, but close. And... Um, I will send you stickers. But if you don't email me, I don't know where to send them. So dork at dorkintheroad.com is my address. Tell me that you want a sticker pack. And remember, if you want, if you win and you want one of these, you have to tell me also please throw in the fifth year sticker. Thank you for the love of knobs for that very generous donation. Did you guys see my video or my link to for the love of knobs video that he made when we went riding a weekend or two ago? Oh, was that last weekend? Um, and I have a video coming. I'll have a couple videos riding with him. But if you haven't, go check out For the Love of Knobs because he's crushing it, kicking ass on his 790 adventure and we're on OHV trails. I couldn't keep up with him on the DRZ. And he's on a freaking 790. That's how good he is. So, check out his vid. I linked it on the community page on my YouTube thingy. Can't words. YouTube channel? That's what it's called. Um, and I think I also linked it on Facebook. So if you hadn't seen it there, check it out. Yeah, I haven't made my vid yet, Soils. All right. Is it, uh, is it refill time? Refill time? Hey, while I'm refilling, if you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram that you think people should come follow, particularly if it's motorcycling related, shout yourself out right now. Be like, follow me. Check out my channel. Or... My Instagram is blah, blah, blah. Put that in right now while you're all following for the love of knobs. I'm going to go refill my drink right behind you. I got it, McLevin. I just restarted it when uh, when it ended last time. God, I wish, Kenpachi. Bull bucket list. Bucket list to hang out with Everide. The inspiration, the reason why I have a dual sport and why I make videos is Everide. Whoa. Fancy. I'm talented. You didn't even know it just happened, but if you knew, you'd be like, whoa. He's talented. Entertain the people. Chewy, say something to the people. Tell hi. Say hi. Do something. Do that thing you do. Oh, you're doing it. You're just laying there being useless. That's that thing you do. <laughs> this one's for you, Ronnie. I'm going to drink it for you, though, okay? I don't want it to go bad. Chewy, if, as long as I'm in the room, he doesn't mind. He knows I'm here. If I left, he would rock it off of the couch to go find me. 
He's very obsessed with me. He's ridiculous. You are a ridiculous moron, aren't you, bud? Yeah. You're dumb. I think I just put that in the garbage can, not the can thing. Oops. Nice, Jason. Tell him I said hi. Well, yeah, John. Pour some liquor out for the b Ross. It went to a good home. It's not dead. <clears throat> Groovy. Groovy. It's Evan Williams, Finn. This is Evan Williams. I, you know what? I have had Balcones. I got it in that um, the twelve days of whiskey that I got from uh, Flaviar last year. Bob, I have the Mavic Air. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious. That sounds like him, Chris. That sounds like something he'd do. Wow, we're only two minutes away from another one. I've also had TX whiskey when I was in Texas. Had to try something local. That was pretty good. Drank a lot of Buffalo Trace when I was down there on that trip. Work trip. Uh, and it was not cheap in the resort, but I didn't care. Yeah, Bob, it's pretty easy. Drones do most of the work for you. Um, but I would like to get the Skydio, like David's talking about. I thought about trying to sell my Mavic to get, and getting a Skydio, paying the difference, because of that tracking is, for the type of stuff that we do, it's un, it's unbeatable. You can't you can't have it follow yourself on the Mavic. It does a terrible job. So um, I would like to have the Skydio for that. Um, you have to tell me which ones there are, John. I was just whiskey. Oh, thank you, Noah, for the email. I got it. You want me to give away my Africa Twin? I think I'm not going to do that. I need it to, for the moto camping stuff I'm going to do. Sorry. I'll be happy to send you a digital photo of it if you win. Uh, and you can find that on Instagram.com slash a dork in the road. Unlimited views because I just love you guys that much. No limits. I like your orange badge, Ronnie. Looking good. Um, yeah, biker, it, it is. I got. I used to order it from Flaviar in the mail. It's totally fine. I think it's totally legal anyway. If that's what you're worried about. Uh, Moto, I definitely watched. I watched your unboxing video. Um, or your mail call video. I watched that one. I haven't. Uh, I did subscribe, but I haven't circled back to actually watch anything else so sorry i don't have anything top of mind i just let the gopro do its thing wandering because i'm terrible at um because i'm terrible at technology dude i have do do can soap bro i didn't know they made buffalo trace i'm in i'm getting that all right should we do another giveaway because damn it's going fast all right mclevin you're keeping up right you ready for another this will be another sticker pack actually mclevin are you ready for a plot twist can you handle a plot twist? Tell me you're ready to pivot. Okay. Well, I don't know which one you're saying yes to, but let's do the t-shirt now. Okay? So this, this giveaway will be for the t-shirt and a sticker pack. I don't want to save all of the stuff to the end, right? So let's do one of the good, let's do a good prize, bigger prize t-shirt and sticker pack right now so but i don't have that written down in this order in my notes nick Levin, because i'm improvising right now so will you write down t-shirt plus sticker pack for me please and then we'll do the giveaway i'm doing it moto camp nerd prize that's what i put it as all right t-shirt and sticker pack mclevin's got your back i think i set this up right we'll find out A great prize for MotocampNerd.com. I put that in because there's different prizes and I didn't want to do one for each one. Thanks, McLovin. You're a rock star. All right. This is for the shirt. So just so you know, I will mail you the stickers. You'll get them from me. The shirt will come separately directly from Motocamp Nerd because I didn't know what size to have them send me. So um, you will get two different packages. Lucky. And the shirt looks like this. It says Motocamp Nerd. Pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. How's the buffering tonight? I don't see any on my end. 
and the lag's not too bad. Like I can do this, and like five seconds later, I'm doing it on video. I'm doing it right now. That's how long the lag is. Not bad. Not, and I just watch myself say now, so that's fun. It's like Jimi Hendrix improvising or playing, harmonizing with his own feedback. Sure, it comes with dork stains, yeah. Oh, awesome. Sounds good, looks good. Not buffering, David, that's good. Sometimes you gotta slim down. ADV Agenda, you got all the questions tonight. 2002 V-Strom 1000, that'll be fun, Cav. Crush it. Um, what is my favorite fast food? I don't, know, I don't really eat it anymore because keto. But Taco Bell I like a lot. Biker dad, I'm a big bourbon guy. Big bourbon guy. And I like to try bourbons I haven't tried. That's a little lag. Yeah, Moto, because the chat is, auto, is, the chat is like real time. So the bot will put it in the chat before, but you still have a little lag before I say it, but... Mm -hmm. That's okay, as long as it's not buffering. Yeah, Jay, I've got it on the middle one. I turned the, um, I turned the, I can't, go. Oh, jeez, I gotta quit drinking. I can't even think of words. Look, at, I'm watching myself not be able to think of it. Bit rate, I turned it down a little because I think that was part of the problem, but we should be good because I'm plugged right in. <sighs> yeah, bourbon's good stuff. Can you hear him snoring? He's loud. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna um, pick a winner. Closing entries, because I think most of you are in. All right, this is for a t-shirt and a sticker pack. I'm doing it, it's happening. I mean, I try it every time, David. It's always delicious, like the first time. All right, picking a winner for a t-shirt. Ronnie DRZ, you win, buddy. So email me, dork at dorkintheroad.com with your address and let me know mr drz if you also want one of these fifth gear stickers because i will put it in tinker i made a whole video on moto camping gear john i can't I, I have to skip some now and then yeah so if you want one of those five fifth gear stickers make sure you say so in your email ronnie is a channel member and gets early access to videos so he gets to see him the second i upload them um, channel members in the dork cider level get to see vids sometimes as much as a week early when I'm on top of it. Hail to the king, baby. Hail to the king, baby. Hail to the king, baby. Thanks, Ed, for that. Appreciate it. You're the man. You're the man. I got more Bruce Campbell sounds on here, you guys. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, this one has a cuss in it. Sorry. Oh, no, it doesn't. It didn't do the whole thing. Shop smart. Shop S smart. Are all men from the future loud mouth braggarts? Nope. Just me, baby. Just me. Just me, baby. Just me. That's one of my favorite lines. One of my favorites. ADV. I use Sony Vegas 15. No, it's just Vegas Pro 15 now. It's not Sony Vegas anymore. Why do I use that? Is because it's awesome or? Some reason? Nope. It's because I got it for twenty dollars in the humble bundle. That's why I use Vegas Pro. Cause I got it cheap. McLevin's using um, DaVinci Resolve. Is that what you're using, McLevin? How do you like it? It's free. Yeah, I wouldn't pay the two hundred dollars they want for it, but for twenty, it was totally worth it. Uh, I'm not sure, Tim. I don't know what the hell I'm doing next weekend. Might be camping next weekend. Who knows? Could happen. Thanks, ADV. Oh, you're using Filmora. Okay, McLevin. That's a good one. I'm getting a little better. I'm not an editor. Like, that's not my forte, but I'm, I've made them less terrible over the years. Yeah, I saw that, Chris. That's crazy. Again. I'm going to have to make another tent video. Crazy. There's a link to the Discord if you haven't joined. You can chat with these people and other people all the time. 
Anytime you want, you just type in words and other people will type in words back to you. It's crazy. Damn, Jay. You're probably not riding much, huh? Yeah, turtle. Well, that's, um, isn't it YouTube determining which of those codecs you get? John, I have a GoPro Hero 7. I mean, it sucks sometimes, but there isn't much that's much better. Uh, for the love of knobs has one of those Sony action cams. He seems to like it. Chewy, people can hear you. They find you obnoxious. Give me some sugar, baby. Whoa. Wrong book. <laughs> Michael, I made a whole vid of everything, but I plan on, I'm going to go out and camp with all of it and make a vid. Obviously. I mean, I'm going to make moto camping vids with it. That's part of the deal. So. That will happen. You're going to see it in action, not just in the package. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious. How much time I got left? Two minutes till another giveaway. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Chat is like not moving. Did you guys all die? Did I get disconnected? Name's Ash. Housewares. Housewares. Yeah, wandering. Eventually, you unlock VPO nine. So all my vids, I upload them in ten eighty p, but they're in they're in VPO nine. But yes, you have to upload in a in a resolution higher than ten eighty p in order to get it until you've unlocked it. Whoa! Thanks, John. That's a big donation. Joe, John, John. Yeah. Sorry, it's down on the little screen. It hasn't popped up on the big one yet. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. I'm going to play sound effects for you. Hold on. We're going to play a sound effect. Wow. Wow. Thanks for that. Thank you. Yeah, David. When I upgraded my PC, it was night and day. Life-changing for my editing. I couldn't believe how bad the other one was. Thirty seconds. We're gonna do another giveaway, you guys. Broke your ankle in September, huh? You're healed now. Gonna get back on. That's great, Gary. Glad to hear it. Gotta get back on the horse. Oh, ADV. I am not a sleeping bag expert. I like the one that I have, I, and for the price, and what was it, sixty dollars for the Snug Pack Travel Pack Four? It's a nineteen degree bag. That's not a zero degree bag. Um, the guy to ask would be Moto Camp Nerd, but he's he's not here. He actually works at night, so he can't be on the stream every night. Y'all, um, y'all expert Moto Campers got a suggestion for a zero degree bag that you like? Uh, it's gaming PC, David. It's convenient that I can buy a, an editing computer for the business and then get to game on it too. Isn't that nice? All right, I'm gonna do another giveaway. Why the hell not? This will be a sticker pack again. You got me, McLevin. Don't let me get uh, the wrong order. So we have seven. Sticker packs and three big prizes. So two more big prizes. Keep me on pace with the sticker packs. Make sure, although if I do too many sticker packs, that's okay. I don't want to do too few. Um, It's pretty good, Ronnie. I actually think I need a non-inflatable because I sleep with my arm under the pillow. But I like it. It's the most comfortable inflatable pillow I've ever used. So I'm excited to sleep on it. All right. Get ready to enter. So if you already want a sticker pack, this is for a sticker pack, I would appreciate it if you didn't enter just so that we can make sure that um, more people get a chance to win a sticker pack. But feel free to enter every time we do one of the big prizes. Want to spread the love as much as we can. So this is a sticker pack. Sticker pack. Exclamation point, enter. And don't forget, when you, if you win, when you win, because you're going to win, you're going to win. Wink, I know it's you. You might think I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. You're going to win. Uh, when you win, if you want one of the fifth gear stickers, let me know in the email. Because I'm here for you. Thanks to Kenpachi. Cheap memory foam pillow. Like it. Nine bucks. Okay. I actually want a pillow. Um, those are supposed to be the best, awesomest ones. They don't sell them at Moto Camp Nerd, but... McLovin just got one, so I'm super jealous. I'll probably end up buying one. 
And it'll be like this. Great success. It'll be great success. Lots of enters, lots of enters. Come get the enters. Dork Nerd sticker pack. Plus, Moto Camp Nerd sticker. This thing is so reflective when I go in the garage with the light out. It like It's like blinding. Just with a little bit of light coming in from the house. Oh yeah, I don't actually have the excellent sound effect on here. That seems really stupid because I totally have it in my computer. I don't know if we have an issue with it, Biker Dad. It's more we accidentally tried to shift into six more than once. I'd still do it. I've been riding that thing for almost a year. Oh, yeah! There's one sound effect on here I can't do because it demonetizes the whole stream. Happened once. Thank you for the super chats, by the way. You guys are rock stars. Kirk, Ed, John, for the love of knobs. Great people. Just great people. I want you to know that. You're great people. And I appreciate you. <clears throat> These giveaways take so long, we're only seven minutes away from the next one. Can you believe it? Poe, great. That is a great question and one that it would take a lot of time to answer. But um, if you get a, a name that you like, first piece of advice, go lock down Twitter, Instagram, Everything you can. Basically every social media, get that name as much as you can. Even if you don't ever plan on doing Instagram, because one day you might want to, and two, someone else will take it. And you don't want that. And they might pretend to be you. Second thing, exactly what the two things that Knob said are great. Um, people will forgive crappy video, but they rarely stick around for bad audio. And if you don't believe me, Pay attention to your own viewing habits and see how long you keep watching a video with a lot of wind noise or something like that. Audio is so important and it's worth putting in the time. And it's also a pain in the ass. Ask me how I know. McLovin, how do you feel about audio right now? We're both trying to set up the, make it so you can hear the other person through the center when we're riding together and it's been an interesting struggle. So audio is important. You should go watch for, um, as the magpie flies, she just put up a video. All my video secrets just came out this week. She's got really great stuff in there. She's really good at what she does. She's an excellent video. She's a, like a filmmaker. I'm just an idiot that rides in the woods and talks to himself and somehow manages to edit it into something semi-coherent. But Amanda makes, makes films like so good. So good. And for the love of knobs, will sell himself short, but he makes excellent videos as well. Yeah, Ed, that's what I've done. Um, I've just given up on trying to record video at, at highway speeds at all, because in my MX-9, it's too windy. And uh, so I only do it at, at forest exploration trail riding speeds. Nice, Poe. Well, then you know. <laughs> Her name is As the Magpie Flies, Dana. Dano. Mm. Nice. All right, should we do a I forgot I was doing a giveaway. I got excited talking to you guys. Closing it. Let's pick a winner. Winner of the sticker pack is Dr. Subaru. Dr. Subaru. Email me at dork at dorkintheroad.com with your address. Remind me you want a sticker pack, and I will send you stickers. Complete. Complete. The animated bats were an accident, though. Right, David? Wasn't supposed to be the whole video. Did you know that Subaru backwards is you are a bus? You're welcome for that fun fact. One neutral, two, three, four, five, five, five. Nice. Getting close to refill time. I got enough. Or are you talking about yourself? What are y'all drinking? Cheers to all of you. By the way, let's all take a drink and say thanks to McLovin. This is a toast to McLovin for keeping track of shit tonight because I failed already. So, this is to McLovin. Cheers, McLovin. Thank you for taking care of that. Uh, 
Oh, David, the things we find. And it, it's one of the reasons why, because I used to just edit and then just go, I would just hit um, render and put it up. Wouldn't even look at it again. And the reason why I started rewatching it was because random shit would crop in that I didn't notice. And I, by the time it was uploaded and I'd done everything, I was done. I just left it in. So I now rewatch my videos every time before I put them up. But it's part of the reason why I started doing that little preview in this episode at the beginning. Because it gives me a reason to go back through, watch the whole video to pull those clips, and then put them in so I can do two things at once. Ah, <sighs> Four Roses. Jealous. I have some Four Roses downstairs, but it's not single barrel. It's a small batch. Nope. No, wait. Hold on. No, I do have the good stuff. I do have a single barrel downstairs. Yes, I do. You are a bus. Yeah, Jay. Um, my thoughts on doing the OBDR is that I want to do the OBDR. Uh, there's a little talk of maybe trying to do section three. Is it three? No, six. Section six. This summer. End of summer. Um, I've actually ridden. So if you guys have seen the rides, this is a fun fact. If you guys have seen the rides where we went up to Cache Mountain, and I've made the, I've probably three videos with Cache Mountain in them, the road we take out there is actually part of Route 3, the OBDR. Until we turn off to go up the mountain, the first few miles are Route 3. So there you go. You've seen part of it if you've watched those videos. Yeah, there's some talk of Section 6. I would like to do Route 3, especially because I've seen the beginning. Um, I honestly need to get out and practice on my AT. Just to, I need to ride a little more to be confident tackling anything remotely technical with a fully loaded bike. i got to get a little better. The, the bike is very capable. The rider is an idiot. So the rider needs to become less idiot before I try anything hard. That's one of the goals. That's why I put the heated grips on. I'm excited about the new um, stuff I have coming for it. Excited to get out and moto camp off it. That'll get me out and riding it more. Because it, I have not done the thing justice. I'm, I'm embarrassed that I have such a great bike and I've ridden it so little. Nobs, I thought that was a secret. You told me that was a secret. You just announced it to 62 people. You said, only you and I can know this. And then you said the thing you just typed into public chat. Are you drunk, sir? Because I am sober as a bird. Parts of it can be turtle? Interesting. How so, beards? How are they turtle? Explain more. Thank you, McLovin. Appreciate the update. 14 seconds, we're going to do another giveaway. That is helpful. Thank you. Look at you guys emailing me, making sure I get your addresses. Well done. All right, another sticker pack, McLovin. Are you ready? See? See why I didn't want to do a bunch of stuff at night? We barely have time to keep up on the giveaways. There's so many giveaways tonight, you guys. Thanks to Model Camp Nerd and McLovin for crushing it, making it happen. Okay. I need to get a mouse and just keep it right here so I don't have to lean forward and do this every time. All right, giveaway. Yeah, the current, Garrick, the current BDR is not an official BDR, but what... What um, For the Love of Knobs is talking about is an official BDR coming out. And I thought that was a secret, but apparently it's not, because we've just announced it on a live stream that a thousand people will watch. Replay included. Hi, replay people. If you're watching the replay, say hi in the chat, or in the comments. Leave me a comment that says, hi, I'm watching the replay. Thanks for the secret, For the Love of Knobs. I love that people watch the replay because I don't, these streams aren't that interesting if you're not here while it's happening. It's mostly just like giving away crap that you can't win because you aren't there. So I, I salute all of you that watch the replays. I appreciate that. I watch them too, but I'm just narcissistic. I don't, I'm, I'm impressed that other people can get through them. <sighs> okay, McLovin. So... Let me do this sticker giveaway and another sticker giveaway, and then let's do one of the big prizes. Let's sprinkle them in. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta, Beards. 
This is probably a joke. Somebody put it into a poll today. Some weirdo put it in a poll yesterday, actually. Oh, biker dad, there's always one. There's, I swear to God, there's one person out there who was subscribed to my channel and has notifications on just so they can thumbs down every video I put up. And I'm probably giving them, I'm calling them out right now and giving them the recognition they so desperately deserve. So maybe I shouldn't be doing it. Or, sorry, not deserve, want. But because of the second I put a video up, it gets a thumbs down almost every time. So there is one person out there. And I'm sorry, whatever I did to you, whatever I did to offend you, I apologize. Because the thumbs down shows up before you could have even had time to watch the video. So it's not the video you hate, it's me. And I'm sorry for however I hurt you in the past, sincerely. But that's the thing, it does happen. It does happen. Smaller bike, Ed, what are you getting? No beards, it doesn't do sh I mean... Not breaking the algorithm. I think it's fun to have... The community stuff is good. I mean, whether it does the magic or not, it's neat to interact with you guys every day anyway, so... Um, it's helping. But supposedly, polls will show up for people that aren't even subscribed to your channel, and if they interact with the poll, they're more likely to see your videos, so... It's fun. Yeah, Nob, some people don't understand sarcasm. Right, Turtle. See, that's the bright side. That's the bright side. <sighs> I'd be surprised if it's an ex of mine, because I've been married to my wife for... I've been with my wife for 12 years, but someone's holding a grudge for a long time. Oh, yeah, you're right, Beards. I don't think you get community posts until 1,000. So you'll be there soon. You guys should also go subscribe to Beards, Bikes, and Camping. It rides into the shit out of an Africa twin and camps hard. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. I, and that's what I strive for, so it's nice to hear that. I want it to be, like, good and bad, right? Like, the embarrassing shit, I put it in. Like, me, like if you caught For the Love of Knobs' video, I somehow got my DRZ sideways with my engine right on top of a stump on our last ride together. And he put it in his video, and I'm putting that clip in mine. Are you kidding me? Somehow, I don't know what happened. It's like, it's like a two-track, right? You can go above the stump or below it. And my front wheel was up above it. And I gave it too much gas, and the rear wheel slid sideways in the lower track. And I just got stuck there. It was stupid. I don't even know what happened. But I'm so glad he got it on video. Finn, when am I going to shave completely? My wife has seen me without a beard one time. One time in the 12 years we've been together. And I got to tell you, it almost ended our relationship. So, will not happen. Hey, Versus Fat Kid's here. If anybody wants to buy a Versus, he's selling a 2008 for $3,500. Come buy it. Oh, interesting, Nobs. So if you're a BDR supporter, you get a tax-deductible do locate... Don't... Fuck, I can't words. Tax-deductible donation and a bunch of discounts. Rad. You think my brother is downvoting me, Dano? Wouldn't surprise me. Also, I said the F word. Sorry about that, guys. I try not to, to say the big cusses. <sighs> Much apologize. Many sorry. Dude, when I take when I shave this beard off, I literally look like a snail without a shell. It's hot it's awful. It's awful. It's like I bet although I've had this beard since I was like twenty six, so I bet the lower half of my face looks about five years younger because it hasn't been getting sun damaged all these decades. There's Chad on the rocks. Ask him if he's downvoting me the whole time. Too much whiskey in these sodas. Not enough soda in my whiskey. Nice moto. What's a good... Not nice that you're out of work, but nice you have a good beard going. It's a good time to get your channel rolling. <laughs> yeah, I did that once, Biker Dad. She likes to tell that story. So you're saying that all these people want me to die when they thumbs up it. <laughs> I know that one, Matt. Yeah, you guys knew the famous Chad on the Rocks was in here, right? He has a channel. He makes videos. You should tell him to make more videos. I'm like, I go to his channel to look for videos, and it's like... 
That's all there is the whole time. Looking for vids. No vids. Zero percent vids. Uh, three minutes, McLovin. So we'll do one more sticker giveaway and then we'll do the rock straps. How about that? Oh, whiskey and Red Bull. Classic. You got one ready to go? Post it. What are you doing, chat on the rocks? Ooh, good question, Ed. I'm very curious. I know, David. I got what you meant. It's just because Commodus, and, you know, in Gladiator. You're saying Gladiator is not historically accurate? I cannot believe it. Did you know they were going to make a Gladiator 2 where he just, like, came back to life? Like, I think it was, like, Modern Times or something stupid like that. Thanks, DJ. Appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to try to keep it up as much as I can. You guys keep watching. I'll keep talking to myself and recording it in the woods. Matthew, at this point, if you can get a GoPro 7, I would get one. I wouldn't go earlier than that because the stabilization is so much better in the 7 and you can get it. They're probably about the same price. But I would say GoPro Hero 7 if you can get one used. What is going now for seven minutes? I try. I, I ended it, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't. Sorry. Uh, Polly! <laughs> you guys, McLovin's supposed to be keeping me on track. He's not. Polly, you just won. Congratulations. And then we'll do another giveaway in a minute 30 because I'm an idiot. Polly, you know the address. Polly may have won more giveaways than anybody. Tenny is a close second. Tenny and Polly might be might be uh, tied, but they've won a lot because they're here a lot, and that's what happens. Sorry, guys, I'm stupid. All right, I'm just gonna get ready for the next sticker pack, so that, and somebody's gonna say, "Draw a prize, idiot." <laughs> Sorry, McLevin. I misunderstood. Oh, man. That's hilarious. That's You know what? I'm going to make it up to you guys. This giveaway... McLevin, help me keep track of this. This giveaway, I will throw in a Dork in the Road key tag. How about that? So we'll do sticker pack, Dork in the Road key tag. McLevin's going to help me remember. So 30 seconds, we'll do a giveaway... And I will include a dork in the road key tag because I'm stupid and can't keep track of what I'm doing. That is a $5 value, you guys. Those cost $5 on dorkontheroad.com. I'm throwing it in just for you. That's how much I love you. <sighs> Thanks, McLovin. Appreciate you keeping me in line. Although you let me just, like, wander off and not do giveaways when I'm supposed to. God. <sighs> All right, restarting. So this is for sticker pack, including Moto Camp Nerd sticker. Thanks to Moto Camp Nerd. Um, Y'all should, if you haven't, do me this favor, by the way. Click on one of the links below the video. Just go to the Moto Camp Nerd site. I just want him to understand the power of the dork. The traffic that we can send his way. You don't have to buy anything. Just click on it and go through um, so that he can see that we support him. And if you want, poke around. Because it tracks it, so he'll know how many, how much traffic that we got from the stream. So if you haven't clicked on it, give him some clicks, check out the site, and then later, when you want to buy some gear, because I understand that it's winter, and not everyone is shopping for motocamping gear, maybe you remember to go back, but if you guys would click on the link below, the dork referral link, and get him a little bit of traffic, just so he can see that we are supporting, and that the power of the dork. Because he's working with other people too, and I want this community to be the best one. So... He has other influencers who are working with him, but I want to show him that the dork side is the most powerful side. I want the traffic to come from us. So, if you wouldn't mind, do me this favor. Just click on that link. Just open the window. You don't even have to poke around right now if you don't want to. We'll make it happen. Do that to thank him for giving us all these prizes, and there's a lot of prizes. Pretty good. He hooked this up. Delicious. Delicious. I'm not going to let it run for 10 minutes this time. Probably. This is a key tag. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, and then after this, we'll give away rock straps. 
Luke, use the force. Use the dork, Luke. Kenny, great question. I bet some of the people in this chat could answer it because I've talked about it a few times, but originally, short version, originally this channel, oh my god, originally this channel was going to be me riding around talking about nerdy stuff on my bike, so like video game reviews, comic books, movies, stuff like that, also I'm a dork, um, trivia question, who can tell me what my original idea for the name of this channel was? I didn't get it because somebody had already taken it, but who remembers what my original name idea was? That's the quickest I've ever explained that, by the way. All right, I'm going to close entries before I forget. You ready? I'm closing it. Closed it. Okay, picking a winner for a key tag and sticker pack. The winner is David. David, you win. Email me. Remind me that you also get a sticker pack. And don't forget, if you want the fifth gear sticker, make sure that you put that in your email. I'm about to ADV. I'll fill it. Yeah, Ian, I was just going to moto vlog, and then once I got the CRF250L, things shifted quickly. Um, I did not ride on the road as much or much at all anymore. <clears throat> Nobody? Nobody knows what the original name was? The original name of this channel was Writing Nerdy, and I thought that was so clever. For what I was trying to do. It would still work. But a dude had a... A dude had already taken it. And he was making videos. That guy doesn't make videos anymore. But um, he was in the, in Nevada on a KTM. He had just started before me. So if he hadn't, I would be riding nerdy right now. But I'm not. So I was talking to my buddy and I was like, oh, I want it to be nerdy thing. And I, go, I wanted this name, riding nerdy. And I couldn't think of it. And it's taken. And he goes, you should just be dork in the road. And I was like... That's clever. So I didn't even come up with it. My friend Michael did. He's a genius. Which, funnily enough, he's the one that designed the fat guy in a little Grom shirt for me. That logo that you can see on Teespring if you want. Which may become relevant again, he said. Wink. Secret plans in the works. Maybe, Garrick. It could have happened. Alright, I'm refilling this. Because, Finn, fork in the road is a thing. It's a pun. Dork in the road. Fork in the road. It's not fork on the road. It's fork in the road. Yeah, it's grown on me, Tinger. I like it. All right. Chewy, entertain the people. No? Okay. Um, What's the one, your favorite bike you've ever owned? Type it in the chat while I refill my drink. Favorite bike you've ever owned? For me right now, I'm going to make some waves. I think it's a DRZ. It's real, t it's real close, but cool. I love my DRZ a lot. I like my twin, too. Don't get mad. I think it's a DRZ. Am I like bending over? Look, you can see my butt crack. Oh, gross. I have to delete this whole replay. Disgusting. That's what happens when you drink too much. Ew. Tuck your shirt in, you gross fat weirdo. Unbelievable. It's not a strip club. This is not Vegas. You didn't come here to see ass cleavage. First gen SV650. I almost got an SV650. I looked into them when I bought my 500F instead. It's supposed to be a real good entry level bike. Ha <laughs> ha, knobs. You're a funny guy. People should subscribe to you if they haven't. For the Love of Knobs is one of the most genuine individuals I've ever met. And if you watch his channel and then meet him in person, he's exactly that person. He's very genuine. I mean that. I'm actually going to pee, so I'll be right back. Watch Chewy and talk to each other.
put too much whiskey in this, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Beards. Appreciate it. My wife is very angry at you all. She wants you to know that that ass crack cleavage belongs to her. And she's mad at you for looking at it. So, just know. Just know that's a thing. Um, in three minutes, I'm going to give away some rock straps. I realize this looks like a garter belt. But, um, these are some of the coolest straps out there. I also really like the giant loop pronghorn straps. Just for the record. Like them a lot. But... Um, rock straps are another option and these are cool because it unhooks here so you put this around one part of your bike and then you put the other end around the other end of your bike you just put it up through the loop here pretty simple setup and then you tighten it down and the bungee keeps it tight thank you soils appreciate that the bungee keeps it tight so um, it's kind of a unique design that's really cool it keeps your stuff nice and secure Yes, um, I can also announce right now that I will be, and I know I said this last year and didn't go, but things happened, as you know. Um, I'll be at the Giant Loop Ride this year, June, first weekend in June. So, Total Love and Knobs will be there, McLovin will be there, Beards, Bikes, and Camping is going. So, um, y'all should consider going to, the, going to the event. Here's the thing, it's $300, right? Seems like a lot, except all your food is covered, your camping is covered, your access to... Um, the routes and stuff out there is covered. You get a t-shirt, you get a um, silly pint, but here's the thing. Are you ready? All the beer you can drink. That's worth $300 by itself. Are you shitting me? Sign up. Go. Make it happen. I'm going to be out there. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie. Much appreciate. Yeah, Tanny, I hope that happens. Oh, and you get to chill at a hot spring and it's clothing optional and it's all dudes, so enjoy that. It's actually not all dudes. I don't. Were there naked people last year? I wasn't there. I know that it's traditionally clothing optional in the hot spring, so take from that what you will. Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah, Tenny. Um, it, it gift it's BYO whiskey, but uh, from what I've been told, they have some kicking around. I will bring in my own. Yeah, soils. Excellent point. Veteran Back 40 Adventures is a great organization. They'll be there. And um, follow them on Instagram and stuff. It's at Crystal Crane Hot Springs here in Oregon. Eastern Oregon. It's what, like eight hours from here? Something crazy like that? Mrs. Dork will not be there. She has to work and stuff. Yeah, yes. I'll be putting on a show. Last year they did actually ask me to do a presentation... Um, hasn't come up this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was some talk of that. And if there is, I'll probably like premiere a video or something. Cause that's an easy way to fill 15 minutes. You guys don't want to listen to me talk the whole time. It says people listen to me talk for two hours. All right. You ready to give away some, uh, some rock straps? What do you think, McLevin? You ready? Not that sad, Soils. I'll tell her. I don't, it's not really her scene, but that might help her change her mind. I don't know. All right. Oh, no, probably not, because he'd have to sit in the, Chewie would have to sit in the tent all day while we're out riding. I could live stream for the event, that'd be fun, if there's Wi-Fi out there. Alright, you're entering to win rock straps. You got that, McLevin? This one is rock straps. And a sticker pack. So I will, I will mail you a sticker pack, and um, Moto Camp Nerd will mail you rock straps. They will come separately. So, there you go. Enjoy that. Oh, I put too much whiskey in this one. I was trying to finish off what's left in that little bottle. And there was probably two drinks worth of whiskey in that little bottle. Oops. Great success. Yeah, Chad, Chad should come. You're going to have to put some different tires on your, uh, on your CB500X probably. It's not at Alvord, but it's close-ish. All right, see you, Caden. I saw you, man. I see you. Appreciate you being here. I mean, I got it all three times. I got you, bro. I wonder if 4G would be enough to stream with. Low res, it would. I mean, I'll definitely be like the Trail Max, Chad. Um, doing stories and making videos and stuff while I'm out there, bro. 
Oh, Bigfoot's going to be there too. Sweet. I hear nothing but good things about Green Chili, Tony. I've never used it, but um, I hear good things. Wandering, I have Trackmasters on the DRZ. It is fan. They are fantastic. I hear good things about those Trail Max missions. A good blend, because you won't ride off-road a ton, but it'll be nice to be able to if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Um, yeah, okay. Should have said this before. Apologize in advance. Um, if you're in Canada or not inside the United States of America, I can send you the sticker packs, but uh, Mo Camp Nerd is not allowed to send you gear. So the t-shirt you could still get. But um, the rock straps and probably the gift card because it won't do you any good. Um, you probably shouldn't enter to win. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. And, and that's not because he doesn't want to. It's because that's the deal with his um, suppliers. He's not allowed to ship out of the U.S. So um, I don't think you can win the rock straps or the gift card. You can win the gift card. You just won't be able to use it if you're outside of the U.S. My apologize. I should have mentioned that, Tenny. My bad. So this one, the rock straps, you probably, if you're outside of America, I don't think he can send them to you. But if I screwed that up, I'll send you a key tag. So if you end up winning and you can't win the actual prize, I'll at least send you something. We'll figure it out. You can't unenter, I don't think. Are you ready? Should I draw it? Should we draw it? Now that I've bummed everyone out, should I draw for the rock straps? Let's do it. There he is! Everyone thank Model Camp Nerd for being here. Just in time to clarify that I'm not making this shit up. Alright. And pick a winner. Saltwater Jeff, you won. The rock straps coming to you directly from Model Camp Nerd. But that can't happen unless you email me your address at dork at dorkintheroad.com. Got it? Email me. Complete. Alright. Model Camp Nerd is here. McLovin, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Do we have two sticker packs and um, the gift card still? Is that what's left? Yeah, Ed, I hope so too. Yeah, I got to tell you, I'm really glad like a bunch of you are going to be there. And I'm so excited to meet you. But um, as an introvert, it's kind of my biggest nightmare to think that a bunch of people are going to be coming up to me that I don't know and talking to me. I'm going to get over it, and I'm going to get over it thanks to the free beer that we mentioned. But um, just know I love you guys enough to push past that particular terrifying pros prospect because I know you're all cool. I know you're all cool. You're all cool guys and gals and people. Okay, so I was right. Okay, good, McLevin. Thank you. So I'm stoked. It's going to be rad. Just know, I'm not that cool in real life, so don't get your hopes up. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully by then, like, things will be calmed down enough we can, like, shake hands and stuff. How cool would that be? Remember what that was like when you were allowed to shake hands with people? Thanks, Soils. That will help, yeah. That will help a lot. <clears throat> Thanks, David. You're going to buy me a free beer? Much appreciate. Oh, thanks, D. Yeah, D's always keeping it keeping it real. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, whatever your expectation is, because you just drop it down about two more not two more notches, bro. This is why I talk to myself in the woods, right? Talking to humans is scary. Other humans like talk back is weird. Oh, beards! That was just the sun. I was I was standing with the sun behind me. That's all. What's up, Tommy? Welcome in, bud. You didn't see it. Freaking YouTube not showing people crap. I posted it on Instagram. I made a poll about it. They're letting you down. Chewy, you have to stop snoring. You're really close to the mic, bro. He stopped. <laughs> somebody, um, I don't think he's here, but somebody commented on my tent video. If you haven't watched it yet, um, I was like, I'm going to put this tarp down because there's dog shit all over my yard. And he's like, that means you have a dog we haven't seen. And I was like, bro, he shows up on the streams all the time. So I made sure he was here. Here he is. So if you're watching the uh, if you're watching the replay, here he is. And if you're here, here he is. Dog exists. There's a 30-minute warning. That's cool, Jay. Yeah, he... 
He yeah, dork at dork in the road dot com. Yep, Jeff. Yeah, I tried to make it easy. Um, this snoring is actually not bad. I had my pug before him. She was really bad. She had an elongated soft palate. She couldn't even breathe. Chewy just does it sometimes, and if you nudge him, he'll stop. She could not breathe without doing it, so she was loud all the time. You just got used to it, which is why I don't notice him. So if it's super obnoxious, let me know and I'll nudge him. We can get him to stop. I'll nudge him gently because we're on camera. I usually nudge him reasonably gently. He's sturdy, though. He's a very solid dog. Very solid dog. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Kepachi. He does need a CPAP head. That's funny. That would help him, yeah. I mean, he's kind of in a precarious position, but he loves to sit on the back of this couch. So, like, when I'm working over there in the chair you see, he sits here. So he's just always within arm's reach. It's his favorite spot, no matter where I am in the room. He's a little obsessed with me. See, pup. <laughs> Not yet, Soils. I'd be into that. It's funny how low the bar is that we, like, for a new DRZ. We don't want much. We just want another gear and fuel injection. Like, that feels like it's super minimal effort, and they won't even give us that. That's how much they've lowered expectations. Like, it doesn't even need to have more horsepower. No, you can keep this stupid, weird oil reserve in the freaking frame or whatever. Don't care. Just freaking give us fuel injection and a six gear. You know, Robin, that question is so amazing to me that you're asking it. To, to consider that that might even be a possibility blows my mind. Um, for 10000 we did a big give. No, we did it for 9000 What I'd like to do, and, and at this rate we are two months away, crazy, right, to think about, uh, is hit up my sponsors and see if they want to sponsor a giveaway. So, uh, <laughs> Moto Camp Nerd just generously donated all this stuff, but just put it out there. Just saying. But, um, so Moto Camp Nerd, Giant Loop has been really generous when it comes to stuff like that. And I have a new sponsor that uh, I'm working with that nobody knows about yet. You guys want to guess who it is? They do, Speedy. And this is not to detract. Tonight is all about Moto Camp Nerd. Just understand that, but. Just a little nugget of an announcement because there might be some stuff in a future stream, some and coming from, from from other people too. Awesome moto. Bourbon company would be rad, but the streams would be even more incoherent. Tonight's sponsored by Buffalo Trace. Glug 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 glug. Could you imagine if you had a sponsor that just gave you a bunch of free bourbon? There's actually a really good distillery in town. I would love to get sponsored by them because they have a fantastic single malt. Sinister Distillery, Howard Jacob, if you can get it, is pro is one of the best whiskeys I've ever had. Yeah, you're not wrong, biker. Icon, I've worked with them already, so it's not Icon. Um, Icon is interesting because like we work together, but it's super intermittent. Like I'll just get a random email and they're like, do you want some gear? And I'm like, okay. Or uh, actually that was the last time was the first time that ever happened. Every other time I would just email them every six months and be like, It'd be great to work together again. And they would just send me some stuff, which is cool. I love Icon, love Oregon companies. You know that this is a sticker pack. Climb, I have a, a minor partnership with? I did, McLovin. Saltwater Jeff won that one. Um, but the, uh, it's just a discount. So I can buy some stuff at a discount. At, with, to, if I promise, I'll use it in a video. No, it's... Um, nobody guessed it. I'm surprised. It's kind of the kind of thing where... Um, I'm kind of astounded that somehow I'm... Big is the wrong word, but... That my channel has... has has reached the level of prevalence that this is a sponsor that I could work with and not only work with, but that reached out to me. No, it's Rocky Mountain ATV. That's the newest sponsor. So there's going to be some stuff coming out with them. Um, some gear vids. We're working on a page on Rocky Mountain ATV's website where you can go and look at my gear picks on their site. Um, it's pretty cool. So I don't want to give away the whole thing right now, but pretty astounded. So, 
I've been really lucky. Great sponsors like Moto Camp Nerd, Giant Loop, um, and now Rocky Mountain ATV. Pretty neat. So I have an affiliate link for them. So if you uh, if you end up buying anything from them and you want to want to support the channel at the same time, you can use my link. Whatever you buy, I get a piece of. That's pretty cool. Just for starters. Well, thanks, Wandering. I feel like it's we're starting to gain a little prominence, right? Like, I look around, you know, you compare yourself to other people. And uh, I feel like we're doing some good stuff. That'd be cool, Soils. Yeah, I like them because they sell everything, man. They sell everything. And their first party stuff is all good. Like, I have Tusk Bar Risers on the DRZ. Love them. Love them. Good quality stuff at a low price. I mean, their first party stuff is real good. I'm secretly hoping they will send me, um, or I can get my hands on some of the Battleborn gear because I'd really like to test it out as a as a really good entry level option. I want to let you guys know if it's as good as it's supposed to be. Oh, right. What it costs. Man, if it's even remotely as good as I've heard, it's totally worth it. David, I'll take both. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Oh, yeah, um, righty. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, Beards, uh, For the Love of Knobs is running the Tusk eSports right now, and he loves them. We talked about them in my video, so ask him about them. Yeah, Tony, well, I mean, if you feel like clicking oh, my link before you buy it, then. I'll be all over that. Thanks, Van. Well, you still got time, biker. Oh, righty. Then. <laughs> Apparently I did, it. Should we, um, yeah, Duck Fan has them too, Chris. He likes them a lot. All right, I'm going to close entries on this one. Are you guys ready? Stickers? Thank you, Gerald. Closing it. And the winner of the sticker pack is Aaron Robinson. You won, buddy. So email me at dork at dork in the road .com. I will send you some stickers. I will send you the Moto Camp Nerd sticker. Looks like this. It's reflective, safety first. Ooh, not that one because it got wet. That one's gonna have to go on my stuff. J Province, I have done all my own tire changes to this point, but um, I will probably because I wanted to know how to do it in case I ever have to do it in the in the back country. But uh, Razor Pros, good fa friend of the channel in Salem, uh, it's a razor shop, but he does motorcycle stuff too. He's going to do my tire changes from now on. I'm going to pay him. Because he's got all the stuff. A lot easier than freaking spoon and stuff on. It takes me forever. So that's where I'll do my changes from now on. And and I can buy the tires from him too. when I, If I need to. So, yeah. Otherwise, I would say Cycle Gear personally. Because they give you a discount if you buy the tires from them. Thanks, McLovin. I really appreciate you keeping me on track. You're very welcome, Aaron. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, Cycle Gear is the easiest, most prevalent place. And if you buy the tires from them, you get a discount. I said that already, but whatever. If you want to come to Salem, I would recommend Razor Pros, because they're awesome. Yeah, you can buy from Razor. Cycle Gear does put them on. You just have to take them your wheels. So you have to take them off and take them in. They don't do that part. <laughs> yeah, Ian, I've, I've sweated and cursed a few times. Spoon and tires is not my favorite thing, but... Like I said, I wanted to be sure I knew how to do it in case I'm ever 30 miles from my truck or 30 miles from home and need to do it. I'll tell you what, game changer for me the last time I did it, five gallon bucket. Put your wheel on top of it, the rotor inside, and sit in a chair is a hell of a lot nicer than doing it on your knees on the concrete. So, yeah, Beards. I saw um, Backcountry Adventure Motorsports is video on that Baja no pinch. If I was doing tire changes a lot, I would probably get one. Jealous of you, Bob. Yep, yeah, it's one of those skills you need to know whether you want to or not. Because you're going to get a flat eventually. One of the reasons I have um, rim locks in my wheels is because I can ride out on a flat if I have to. It'll ruin the tire, but it's better than being stuck up there all night. 
I couldn't ride on the road, but I could get to the highway. Yeah, tubeless I would love to put in at some point. Those would be rad. <laughs> yeah, David. That's it's a, it's fun, all right. And that Baja no pinch is small enough to keep in your kit, right? You could take it with you, couldn't you? I feel like you could. Yeah, Tommy. Yep. Yeah, I'm working on a deal, a new partnership with Rocky Mountain. Pretty cool. Yeah, I posted. So if you're looking for the link, if you want to support the channel when you're looking when you're shopping at Rocky Mountain, um, I posted a community post today with all of the discounts, all the community discounts. So Moto Camp Nerd, Giant Loop, and then there's links to all of the places where I have affiliate links in case you want to use them. So that's all forever on the community page on the channel. So if you ever like, where was that link? You can always go back and find it. Yeah, Bills is right next to Razor Pro Saltwater. They share a parking lot. Agreed, Chris. I carry, actually I have a CO2 cartridge inflator in my small kit and then I have a compressor that I carry on the Africa Twin. Yeah, ugh, I do not love changing tires, but I'm glad I know how. 143,000 miles? How many times has it been rebuilt? That's a lot of miles, dude. Yeah, and we need so little pressure, Kenny, that you get you can get a few refills, I assume, out of a CO2 cartridge. What am I getting? Messages. Love the knobs. You're mentioning me in your story. Let's look at it. I'm only entertaining 60 people, but I think I should look at Facebook. Or Sweet, dude. I'm going to like that. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Did you all thank uh, Moto Camp Nerd for making this happen for us? He's here now. Lucky guy. Cool guy. Uh, no, Tommy, it's funny that you ask because on our very last ride on the 110, she ran over a nail and we didn't notice till we got back to the truck. So we loaded it up and that was the day. So we just took it for one last ride before I sold it to McLovin. So I texted him and was like, we blew the tire today. I'll take $50 off the price if you take it as is. And he was like, okay. And he just patched it. So he got, he got a bonus, like good deal, little, little discount. And I didn't have to pass the freaking tire. Worked out well for everybody. Worked out well. Soils, you're not dot, you're not DOT approved. I'm surprised, bro. That surprises me. Yep, and I'm telling you guys, and I mean this with all sincerity. You can give your money to Amazon, but wouldn't you rather give it to to a fellow? motorcyclist who's trying to run a small business who's uh who's living his dream who's going all in on his dream of starting this internet business dedicated to serving your needs the needs of the motorcycling community i mean come on how do you not support that don't buy your camping gear at amazon buy it from moto camp nerd and the cool part about moto camp nerd is you know it'll work on your bike because he picked it it's not some random machine trying to optimize offerings to you that are going to make them the most money He's trying to find you quality products that work for what you want to use them for. And I think that's pretty legit. And Moto Camp Nerd, you should just capture all of what I just said and make it a commercial, bro. Because I mean it. All right. Last sticker pack before we do the final giveaway. Are you ready? Right? I'm right, McLevin, aren't I? I think I'm right. Sticker pack. Oh, hell yeah, biker. I couldn't agree more best community there is it's why i love it it's why i want to support it and it's why i work hard to create content that encourages people to get out there and join the community to join us to become part of this community because one i want more cool people to be here with us and two i know you're all cool so when they get here they're going to enjoy themselves you're going to take care of them so i want to help people figure out how to do the thing that's what that's why i do this that's what keeps me going I get a shitty comment. I get shitty comments all the time. Gets me down, you know? Makes me think, maybe I shouldn't be doing this thing. Maybe it's not awesome. But then I'll get a comment from somebody that's like, Dork, I bought my first dual sport today because your videos inspired me. Makes it all worth it, man. 
That's what it's about. I'm very ranty when I get this drunk, apparently. I'm very sincere. You're just getting raw, unfiltered dork right now. I'll bring a tear to my own eye. <clears throat> you guys about to ready to win, win some stickers? Also, Silly Pints are rad. Did I mention that four times tonight? Yeah. Exclamation point, enter. No spaces. No spaces. Did I reset this? Shit, I didn't. All right. Which comment, Moto? The mean one or the nice one? Yeah, I've started trying to share those comments too. Because I want a record of them and because I want you all to see um, how cool it is that we're inspiring more people to get in. Awesome. Thanks, Garrick. No teeth. Sorry, man. Cheers to the silly pint. Soils, it's not illegal if you don't get caught. McLovin will verify. That's the law. Oh, yeah, Moto. Yep, yep. Makes me happy every time I see that, man. That's what it's all about, bro. Oh, cool, Tommy. Yeah, you guys spread the love. Spread the love. Get out and do the thing. No, I'm sad that Amanda... I'm not sad. I'm glad that Amanda uses that. But that was always my motto, my motto when I was teaching. But I don't want to use it on here because people will think I'm just trying to steal it from her. So I think I'm going to just do um, Make It Happen. That's going to be my version of Do The Thing on here. Get out there and make it happen. Make it happen, bro. Make it happen. I don't know what you're talking about, Soils. I would never do that. There's definitely not a video coming out on Monday of McLovin and I riding around a bunch of uh, roadblocks that the logging companies put up. That's definitely not happening Monday. Definitely don't watch it. Because that would be mean and bad. Don't do it. And her. Hell yeah, Jam. You'll be happy with it. Everyone that has a DRZ loves it. Alright, should we pick a winner? What do you think? About ready? Mouth the gape, ape. I love your name, bro. <laughs> Roblox get covered with snow sometimes. Alright, I'm doing it. Close entries. The winner of the final solo sticker giveaway of the night is Michael Bailey. Congratulations. Email me at dork at dorkontheroad.com with your address so I can mail you some stickers. I'm going to print some labels tomorrow, you guys. So make sure you email me tonight so I can get it sent out to you. Um, and let me know if you want one of the fifth gear stickers. If I have any left, I'll throw it in. All right. We're seven and a half minutes away from giving away... Oh, that's a good one, Moto Ramblings. Um, from giving away the $25 gift card to motocampnerd.com. And guess what? You can use it with the 10% discount code, Dork in the Road. You can save some money. You can get some stuff, bro. Yeah, Ken Pachi. Uh, Baker X Derek was one of the first Moto Vloggers I got into. He's one of the reasons I started Moto Vlogging, um, actually, was watching his stuff and thinking I could do that. That's why I used to say the F word a lot in my videos and I don't anymore because I stopped trying to be just like him. But, yep, love. I like Baker X Derek a lot. I don't watch everything because he puts out so much content, but um, I like the guy. I'm so glad he got the DR200. He resurrected it. Okay, I'm going to go pee um, so that I'm ready when the big when the big drawing happens. So while I'm gone, um, Tell me, what is the most essential piece of motorcycle camping gear, in your opinion? What's the most essential piece of moto camping gear? Talk to each other. Yep, Jay. You can do discounts on top of discounts because we're hooking you up. I'll be right back.
a cigar. Not up here, obviously, but after the stream, maybe. Maybe. Five minutes, guys. Um, Gibbo, the... So, here's the th You mean with the gift card? Here's the thing about the gift card. You can win it, but you couldn't use it. Because you can't ship you anything to Canada or not in America. So, technically, you could win the prize, but you wouldn't be able to use it. Unless you just spend it on t-shirts. I assume you can send t-shirts and stickers internationally. Right, Moto Camp? <clears throat> yeah, um, Moto Camp, don't get more knives because I... I'm uh, already planning on spending too much money on your site. I can't afford to spend any more. I love their stuff. I love my Mora Bushcraft. Great knife. Ooh, Garrick nailed it. Yeah, you can't moto camp without a motorcycle. Razor, we were just talking about you, bro. We were just talking about you. Welcome in. You're just in time for the big giveaway in four and a half minutes. Good times. Yeah, so if if so here's the caveat for the final giveaway. If you're not inside the United States of America, you can enter to win the $25 giveaway, but the only thing you can buy with it is stickers and shirts. And if you're okay with that, enter. And if you're not, then maybe sit this one out. Sorry. I still love you even if you're not in America. I want to come visit you in Canada. Travel trailer is your essential motor camping gear? Interesting. Oh yeah, and I might even throw some Razor Pro stickers into these giveaways, because I have a few left, so you guys might be getting bonus stickers left and right. McLovin, I'm almost out of McLovin stickers, by the way. So, um, you don't have to give me more, but if you want me to quit giving them, or if you want me to keep giving them to people, I'll need some more. Yes, yeah, sorry, Ronnie. The United States of America. I didn't mean to be an obnoxious American claiming the whole continent for ourselves. Tenny, you don't have a McLovin sticker? That blows my mind. Alright, man. I'm almost out. I've given away a lot of McLovin stickers. Because you gave me a bunch. Little bonus. Little bonus for you. If you win. I gotta switch it up for Tenny because Tenny's won stuff so many times. His wife is like tired of fit packages from me arriving. I'll try to remember Tenny. I have a few left. I'll stick it to the envelope. That makes it really useful, right? That'd be good. So if you're if you're local, if you're here in Oregon. Razor Porn is here, but he owns Razor Pros, which is a shop in Salem um, that sells Razor side by sides accessories. But also, he does motorcycle stuff. He's a giant loop dealer, so hit him up, use him, take advantage of his services. They also have a they have a um, print shop, graphic design. He makes all my stickers. They make shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff. So hit him up. They made my Dork in the Road banner, which you've probably seen because it's in every video now. Get a lot of use out of it. Yeah, um, Razor, what do you sell a, a set of uh, Dunlop, Dunlop Trail Max missions mounted for? My brother wants to switch his better tires on his on his CB five hundred X. Zach, they're just practicing. They're just warming up their fingies. Twenty five dollar gift card will get you some stuff. You could just spend it, right? But I would totally use it as a coupon on something big. Like buy that, the tent that I have. Or get one of those bike packing tents, man. 25 bucks off that is, is no joke. Yeah, David, get some stickers. Yeah, that jet boil is nice. I feel like I want one someday. I gotta go camp more. I only... I like to cook on the fire, though, so I don't really use it to boil water for coffee. Because I can't eat MREs because they're not keto. Yeah, Razor, I didn't think you'd really have it memorized, but... You can hook it up. 
Trail Maxes are good good tires, supposedly. Nice, David. Nice. 20 seconds, you guys, we're going to give away a gift card. What do you think? <clears throat> Sticker for the DRZ. Yeah, I mean, I would like... I am not a graphic designer, Biker Dad. All of my logos and stuff are made with clip art. I need somebody who's good to make something like that. Critter Moto is a pretty good graphic designer. Razor knows a pretty good graphic designer, too. You know, he's married to her. All right, let's give away the $25 gift card. And stickers. You're getting stickers with every win, you guys. You're getting stickers. You're getting stickers. So, just reminder, so that we're 100% on the up and up. You cannot order camping gear from Moto Camp Nerd if you are not in the United States of America. If you win this prize, you can use it to buy stickers and shirts, but you can't order gear. So just know that when you enter. I don't care if you enter. If you want to enter and win, enter and win. Just know that you're going to get a cool shirt with your money. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just want to be clear. Just want to be clear. That's all I'm saying. I'd like to be up front with you guys. I would hate for you to win and then be like, oh, I can't buy anything. That would suck. Not happening. How many people we got right now? This says... Nothing. Okay, cool. I have no idea. 12 or 13, anyway. 39 entries so far. That's pretty good. You guys are making it happen tonight. This is quite a few people. Very nice. Also, and we're not getting off right now. <laughs> getting off. But uh, next stream, first Friday in March, be there or be square. 61. Nice. Thank you for that. Very much, Soils. Much appreciate you. Let's see if the notification will go off. Appreciate that support. Always appreciate your support. Appreciate you being a channel member. Appreciate you always being here. That's awesome. Dude. Very much appreciated. Everyone gives everyone put thumbs up in the chat for Soils. Thumbs up in the chat for Soils. Thumbs up. I gotta make another drink. Oh, just in time. You want to make me another drink? Sure, after I brush my teeth. Do mm. you want to say hi to the people? Take it this way. This is you guys, Lil is here. She's not Lil anymore. This kid is 5'9". Hold the five, 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 You're like 5'9". Five, nine. Nine. You're like 5'9". Five, 5'9", nine. Nine, five, Yeah. Pet and Chewy. Anyway, everyone say hi, Lil. Hi, Chewy. Lil's here. Chewy's going to fall on you and I'm yeah, going to laugh. Yeah, he sucks. Thumbs up in the chat, not thumbs up, Chad. Yay, yay, thumbs up. Oh, McLovin's got the fancy emojis of me doing a thumbs up. I'm actually pointing in that picture, but close enough. I can kind of see it. Wandering says hi. Beard says hi. Hi. Soils, mouth. Yeah. Soils, everyone loves you. Soils, using the super custom emojis. Channel member emojis like a bow. Alright, should we draw this or what? What do you think? Should we draw it? Do it. Okay. Lil Dork says, yeah, they want you to learn to kick the bike. Yeah. That's annoying that you can't do it. You can do it. It's annoying that you won't do it. Alright, I'm closing entries. The winner. Excuse me. That was a good burp. I thought you had to brush your teeth. I'm watching this because you're doing it. Um, the winner of the $25 gift card to Moto Camp Nerd dot com is drum roll please you guys drum rolling she is she does stand on the pegs i think it's i think i bent the kickstand because i've been standing on the pegs too much so that's part of the problem anyway the winner is moto camp nerd i'm kidding it's beards bikes and camping congrats buddy you guys go subscribe to beards bikes and camping and it's right there in the name he'll use it for camping. Here's the here's the ironic thing. He just put in a big order today. <laughs> Sorry, man. Maybe he'll let you use it retroactively. Nah, no, screw that. Get something else. Get something. Get the thing that you were like, oh, I didn't have enough money to get this thing I really wanted. Add that and order it. Do it. You deserve it. <laughs> Go subscribe to Beards 
Also, if you haven't subscribed to Muddle Camp Nerd's channel, he's doing gear demos and awesome shit all the time. So go subscribe to him too. We got him, you guys, this community. You guys got him to 100 subs. You guys got him his custom youtube.com slash nerd URL. That was you. You guys did that. So thank you for making that happen. Yep. Beards, bikes, and camping. He's the winner. Get that thing you took out of the cart at the last minute. I'm about 5'8 and a half. She's 5'8 and a half, according to the tape measure. Okay. Yay, yay. I'm going to brush my teeth, and I'm going to grab your cup. Okay, hurry, because I'm only going to be on for like 10 more minutes, and I'm out. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome, guys. So fun. I'm not going to bail right away. I mean... It's interesting. It'll be interesting to see how many of you drop off now that I'm out of stuff to give away. Although, who says I'm all the way out of stuff to give away? You never know what could happen. Also, there might be super secret announcements, because maybe I'm not sober enough to say things that aren't concrete plans yet. I don't know. If McLevin says it's okay, I'll tell you the secret plan I have in the works. Because you guys are here on the stream. You lasted this long. If anyone deserves to know, it's you guys. You're going to think it's dumb, but I don't care. I don't think it's dumb. I think it's rad. McLevin, you got all that written down? Thanks again, McLevin. Everyone thank McLevin. He's the reason why you're getting prizes, because he's writing everything down for me. McLevin doesn't want me to tell you. He says don't reveal the secret. That's because it could it could not happen. You know, It's not 100%. Save it for next stream? Oh, dude. Man. You're hardcore, McLevin. You're hardcore. McLovin says don't say anything. Hmm. I don't know. There'll definitely be a video. My, I feel like there'll be a video before the next stream. It won't get announced on the next stream if it happens. Awesome. You guys... I won't, I'm not going to show you because his real name is on here, but McLovin... This is such an organized thing he just sent me. He's got you. He's got you guys. He's hooked it up. <clears throat> okay, can I, how about a hint? How about a hint? How about if I give you a hint? Biker dad, I am 41 years old. I'm old AF. Not the whole shebang. Just like a little tantalizing, just a little piece. What do you think? What do you think, McLevin? It wasn't McLevin who gave me the ticket. It was his partner. McLevin wasn't there yet. Man, I don't know, McLovin, they want a hint. It's already built up too much, you guys. It's not as cool as we're making it out to be right now. There's Hobbs. What's up, Hobbs? Okay, I'm giving you a hint, unless McLovin says something right now. Unless he tells me not to. He's my sober friend. Okay, just a hint. All right. So, as you know... Um... Up until very recently, I had three motorcycles in the garage. Four, if you count Lil's. Um, just this week, it went down, thank you, to three. Three motorcycles. Um, including dorks. So I, or including Lil's. So I have two. Uh, there's a very good chance, I hope, that another motorcycle may soon be in the garage. And I want to do a build on this particular motorcycle... A series of videos and write it and stuff. Um, that's a great time for me to be doing this. Yeah. But that's that's probably more than I should have said. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited. It is unorthodox. Let's just say that. Some of you know because I talked about it a little bit in the Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, you're not getting the inside scoop. But just know. There may be something. There may be some. McLovin, did I give away too much? Was that too much of a hint? The stuff in the blue bottle is the same thing in the, this bottle. That's not Use up the rest of the stuff in the blue bottle, please. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of it because it leaks. That's enough. They did come out with a new Busa, so maybe. Maybe Tenny. Uh, Hobbs, you still have, you you sold your T-dubs, right? What'd you sell it for? What's up, Ripsaw? 
Got yourself a DRZ. Excellent choice. Thanks, McLevin. Oh, yeah. No, she didn't put any booze in it, Jay. She's just pouring soda in the cup. Hmm? You, you didn't put booze in that on camera, because that would be illegal. Definitely just poured soda in, right? Yep. Yep, okay. 2,800. They're going for crazy stuff right now, Hobbs. There's not one under 4,000. What year was it, man? I'm always looking at, always looking at like T-dubs, because I just love T-dubs. I think they're badass. Okay, I'm Thanks, kid. Appreciate okay. you. <clears throat> yeah, Ronnie. That is a lot of overlap. 2005. Good, in good shape though, I'm sure, Hobbs, or you wouldn't have bought it. Mmm. Delicious Just Pepsi. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Alright, any final nearish end of stream questions, thoughts, feelings, concerns, conversational topics that you want to bring up? I'm not allowed to go any deeper into the the other thing is I don't want to get too deep into this the secret plans because it's not for sure yet. It's not for sure. Soils. Is that the, um, the, the, shit, what's it called? The Vulcan? Those are cool. They're not street legal. I wish they were. But I would love to get my hands on one of those Vulcan electric bikes. They're six grand. 100 mile range, hot swappable batteries. Looks like a TW200. What's not to love? What the hell is it called? Vulcan something. Scout? That's not right. Is it? Vulcan Scout? No, I get it confused with the Rokon, which is not the same thing. Although I would love to have a Rokon. <clears throat> yeah, Ripsaw. That surprises me because um, lots of people do that 3x3. Three three. It's like the first thing, first time, first thing they say. Ronnie, you never heard of the Rokon? It's a two-wheel drive motorcycle. Look it up. Van Van would be fun. That's more of a scrambler, though. It's not really a dual sport. In my opinion. Jay, I think it's worth the money. I think it's worth it for the price. It's not... People are like, the T7's better. Well, no shit. It wasn't designed to compete with the T7. The KLR is the every man's entry-level do-it-all motorcycle. That's what it's for. That's what it's always been. It's a Swiss Army knife. It has all the tools you need, but none of them are like the best tool, right? $7,000, get a bike that'll take you anywhere you want to go. Well, I think it's awesome. It's not a Tenere, but the Tenere is $3,000 $3, more. It's not the same, it's not in the same league. It's not for the same people. Oh, nice, Ronnie. Yeah, no, the Volcon. The Volcon is the electric one. I get it confused with Rokon all the time. I follow both of them on Instagram. I would love to ride a T7. T7 is a motorcycle I would consider giving up my Africa Twin for. Did I say that out loud? But my Africa Twin is so well set up, and it's an Africa Twin, so I'm good with it for a while. But if someone was like, I'll give you a comparably equipped... All the same mods, T7, straight across. I would think about it. Shedding that weight. I don't mind losing the top end. 1,000 cc's is nice, but I'm good. Well, I mean, Ripsaw, you can go either way, I guess. Either don't mess with it if it works, or try it and see what happens. Yeah, soils, they're coming. I got Af I'm gonna moto camp off it. I just put heated grips on it, which makes a big difference. I didn't make a video and I'm glad because it was a pain in my ass. I got angry and frustrated halfway through, so I would have quit filming anyway. That's what I did when I put the grips on my DRZ. I actually started making a video and then it went sideways on me. And I stopped filming because I got so pissed. So there's no video of that. <clears throat> that happens to me a lot when I'm when I'm doing work on the bike. So that's why this build series will be interesting because I'll have to commit to filming everything no matter what because that'll be the whole point of doing a build. <laughs> yeah, I got the Oxfords for Christmas for my wife, Beards. They seem to work good. 
I may have to take the left one off and re-glue it because I put it on and let it sit and then I went for a test ride, even though I know you're not supposed to turn them on right away, um, and realized that the cord was not in a convenient position. It was blocking the clutch lever a little bit, so I rotated it slightly thinking, oh, this glue isn't dry yet, and I, I think I screwed it up, and I think it's it's sticky enough, but if I pulled hard or I was moving around off-road, I think it might turn on me, so I might pull it away. I might pull it off, re-glue it, and put it back on. Because the Oxfords, the Oxfords, fun fact, I didn't know this, because I've never, I don't usually use grip glue, because they're usually so tight I have to use an air compressor to get them on, but the um, Oxfords are designed to slide right on and off, so you have to glue them on, or else they won't stay. Because they don't stretch because of the heating element. <clears throat> Thanks, Jeff. Congrats on your win. David, you got to take that course, man. Are you riding without a license? Are you riding illegally? Or are you in Washington, so it doesn't matter? In Oregon, you have to take the class. Duh, bears. Oh, you can get a permit? Can't do that here. I don't think. Can you? I don't even know. The class is great. I'd take it again. When when Lil, which is very close, in a few years is ready to get her license, I, I, will take, I might take a class with her, just for the hell of it. Nice. In Oregon, it's Team Oregon. It's not MSF. I took the class too, but I was 17 when I took it. <laughs> and then I sat on my endorsement for 10 years and or 20 years and never used it. So it was interesting kind of relearning and get back up to speed. Yeah, Ripside did the same thing. I didn't start on the DRZ, but started on a 500. Not bad. Motocamp Nerd, um, can you tell us a little bit about your... Your tents, your um, your proprietary tent line. When when are there going to be prototypes in the wild? Is there a GoFundMe people can support? Uh, tell us a little bit about it. He's got Motocamp Nerd has a he's designed a tent specifically for moto camping. It's going to be a little bit lower cost, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, than the bike packing tents, but it looks like a super legit, awesome design. I'm eager for it to exist so I can get my hands on it personally um because it looks like great product but looks like a quality tent a little bit bigger than the one i have now um you should post a link to your gofundme although i don't think you can unless i make you a mod i'm not sure you could like email it to mclovin real quick and he could post it or me you can get a permit in oregon i didn't know that i did not know that you have to ride with another rider who's licensed. Is that the deal? Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Learn something every day. All right, Tinger. Ride with another licensed rider. Okay. Good to know. But do you still have to take the class to get your endorsement, or can you go to DMV and just take the test? I thought you had to take the class regardless. Did I lose your moto camp? He's actually at work right now, so it wouldn't surprise me if he has to duck in and out. So um, you'd have to he'll have to tell you about his tent later. But it's a cool tent. And the second I have... I hear of it being available, I'll tell you guys about it. Hopefully I can get one and like test it and use it. That'd be cool. I'd love to do that. You still have to take the class. Okay, good. So I wasn't wrong. Just the the, the permit is an additional thing. All right. Help me out with this since you guys are very knowledgeable about the laws. When I got my endorsement, you had to be 17 to get one. In Oregon now, do you have to be 17 to get a motorcycle license or can you do it at 16? See you, Plated Life. Good to see you, man. Go subscribe to Plated Life if you haven't. Class is definitely a good thing.
Uh, it's too bad, man. Sorry to hear it. I think it's a great idea, though. I'm eager to I'm eager to see it out in the wild, man. Later, Dano. I mean, granted, I got my endorsement in 1995, so no, not 95, 90, no, 95 probably. Yeah, actually, 95 or 96. It was 96. Does it matter? No, it was a hundred freaking years ago. Almost said the F word again. This close. Ah, delicious. All right, y'all. Well, I think maybe we'll wind it down. If you haven't joined the Discord or Discord already, you should. Maybe we can get McLovin to kick in it, uh, throw in a link to it right now. Um, sometimes we hang out there after the stream and just BS and stuff. And uh, but the, the Discord's always going. Great place to set up rides with like-minded individuals, talk bikes, BS, garbage. All kinds of stuff. We just added a moto camping chat today. So if you haven't joined, think about enjoining. Think about enjoining. This is why I have to stop streaming because I can't words. Think about joining the Discord. Thank you, McLovin. I'll let her know. She'll be excited. Although I don't think you have any business riding a motorcycle on the street until you've been driving for a year. That scares me. Um, but join the Discord if you haven't. Might hang out there for a bit tonight. We'll see. I definitely have to pee. And who knows? Sometimes I meander into the garage and start smoking. It happens to the best of us. But I think I'm going to call the night. So again, big, 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 big thanks to Moto Camp Nerd for sponsoring the giveaway tonight and for um, hooking us up, hooking me up with the gear that I'm going to use to create content for all of you. Uh, hope you come back for the March live stream. It's not officially confirmed, but there's been some conversation about maybe some Rocky Mountain ATV things that we might be able to they might sponsor the stream let's just say that they might sponsor the march stream i'm not 100 percent sure yet so you don't want to miss that um that'll be the first friday in march but i think i'm going to take off for now it's been great it's just dork in the road discord i'm thinking you can search for it though we need mclevin to post a link mclevin he's probably grabbing it right now mclevin can you post a link bro it's actually, no, it's in the description. I'm an idiot. There's a link to the Discord in the description of this video. Just go down in the description. Click on that. Join it up. And we'll see you in there. Thank you all for hanging out. Super fun tonight. Love giving stuff away. Thanks for being here and being so enthusiastic. But for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget, Chewie's having a dream. He's barking. To be excellent to each other. Thank you. i got to find the right window.